Your time in Cryptopsy, was it well spent? I mean, do you have fond memories of the, the second going since you didn't have these kind of responsibilities hanging over your head? Was it going smoothly for a while? Yes and no. Uh, yes, it went smoothly. I mean, yes, we were looked after by label and management. And, uh, and when we did Europe, it was nice to not have to do our own driving. It was nice right. to be driven as opposed to North American tours that could last six weeks. And we did all our own driving, yeah. which is a real bitch. It's tough. And, of course, do the load in, do, you know, we're... We are the road crew, and we're the band, and we're the drivers. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I've been there. Yeah, and we're playing forty out of forty-two dates, yeah. and the two days off were driving days, getting from Florida to Texas, for instance. Right, right. Yeah, it, 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 it's a bitch. But I mean, I was uh, I was in my early forties, still able to do it. Here's a thought: three months from now, I will be turning fifty-five, and I could actually move into a retirement community. Crazy to think about that. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> what I could be a think? retiree. Right, right. Right now. Yeah, what would they think? What do you think of that one, Mike? Do you, do you think that would be a, a, a treat Lord, for people? A retirement home? Dude, I, I can't wait to see the fucking stories that come out of those people dealing with Lord Worm at a retirement home. Fuck it, man. That would be... But that will be something to write a book about. <laughs> You're awesome. uh, also, I, I have a question for uh, for uh, Wormy. Um, were you like every other vocalist and like pretty much did nothing in terms of uh, moving shit <laughs> on did, tour? Did you hear that, Worm? I heard part of it, not all of it. All right, go ahead, Mike. Do it again. Yeah, I want to know if you were like every other vocalist and basically not lift a fucking finger, <laughs> carry anything out. Actually, I was the exception to the rule. Uh, I even managed to throw my back out on tour. Oh. And Flo had to explain to the audience that the reason I'm not you know, throwing myself about is because I got a bad back. <laughs> well, you're the rare so, exception. No, I, I, did a, I did a lot of lifting. Yeah, mostly fucking Flo's drum shit. There's big <laughs> wooden cases. Not even plastic or, or no, 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 big one inch thick plywood, you know, with steel handles that can handle his precious fucking drums. How did how did he con you into doing that? Most singers just walk away and that's the end of that. He knew shit needed <laughs> to be getting done. Uh, North American tour, you know, we're all in on it. You know, everyone's yeah. gotta if you want your share of the money, you gotta do your share of the work. Right. I get it. I totally get it. So I did it. And then I hurt myself. What are you going to do? Right, right. <laughs> and so, what what came to an end? I guess where where did the where did you kind of call it quits and say, ah, I just can't, I can't do this anymore. It's not, it was not fun anymore. Loading yeah, loading these drums. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm done with Fuck this flow. This. Yeah. Every tour, I would come home sick. Uh, Twice I came home with double pneumonia, ugh. and I had to go back to work. Right. Eventually, yeah, it just adds up. Yeah. I'm going to get sick every tour, including pneumonias, and still have to go to work? Yeah, no. No, I can't anymore. Right. And and were they – how how did they respond to you, uh, your exit this time? Uh, Flo was the one who actually brought it up. We were in a, we were in a pub together uh, with Steve Tebow, and uh, Flo just kind of looks at me, and he sees, you know, I'm, I'm not well. We're me, man. You can't do this anymore. Wow. Why don't you bow out while you still have some semblance of health? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, that's cool. That's cool that he recognized it and had a, like genuine care for you. 